Hey folks, this is IOE Thermal back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Braz in the Centurion Action X. It's a tier 10 game on the Polish map that I can never pronounce. Stud. <laughs> it's about all I'm going to get on that. So, um, he's a platoon of three guys. All in action, not bad tanks. The Progetto 65 is the only one I am uncertain about. I'm still not certain if that's a good tank or a bad tank. But of course, the 140 is awesome. And we are blue. Or we were last game anyway, so... If we shoot anybody from our team, we're probably going to turn blue again. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> Just to make sure everything's on the up and up. Ooh, that shot almost flew true. That may look like he's using a piece here. I mean, obviously is, But this is actually his standard ammo. It's the heat that is the gold, so... No, he's in fact not shooting gold, though it may look that way. Um, and tonight, by the way, if you are bored from about 7 p.m. to about 10 p.m. Eastern Time, you can jump over to, to my Twitch channel, and I'll be streaming 7 Days to Die. The newest update is out. And, um, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. I will, uh, I got the server set up. Uh, kind of plainly right now, but we're going to get as many people on it as possible and just uh, find some fun stuff to do. Ooh, almost killing the 140 over there. It was, a, it was a T62A, sorry. I just saw the outline and thought 140. If they had focus fired, focus fire a little bit better because um, all three of them hit two different targets. And so if they'd all hit the T62, it would have died immediately. Instead, it lasted a little longer. But that's okay. I mean, we seem to be the only things out on this ridge line for some reason. Um, which gives us huge flexibility. Because we don't have to worry about the opposing team spotting us and then shooting us or anything like that. It's purely just pushing damage downfield on these enemy heavies and tank destroyers that are, well, sitting over there and just kind of taking it. Mostly because half the time they can't even see us and you know, put rounds into us. Nice job. He is having to switch over to heat in order to punch through the armor on the the Type 5 Heavy. But of course, that is pretty normal. Um, the turret on the Type 5 Heavy is very heavily armored. Uh, and you, he still has to aim these shells in order to punch through it. It's not like he can just point and click on the thing and be okay. He's still got to aim for flat, weak spots. Uh, nope, not finding any. He's just going to let... Uh, not take the shot, which is, of course... If you can't find a great shot, you shouldn't be looking to shoot anyway. Seeing the side of that turret would be great, but unfortunately... that t I was going to say the TIE 5 knows what he's doing, and then he just goes and gives us the side of the turret. Unfortunately, we weren't aimed in, and so he couldn't take advantage of it. It's always annoying when you see that happening, when you're just like, Oh, if I was half a second sooner, this would be a thing. Unfortunately, we were not half a second sooner, and so it was not a thing. And that, as much as that sounded like ex I know, artillery hitting us, hitting near us, that was not artillery. There's no artillery in this game unless you count the 4005. So something big just took a pot shot at us, and unfortunately for them, it missed. And that is the first kill on our team this game. So we've just lost our first tank. So far, we were winning. Uh, trying to find a, a shot on this 60 TP. I don't think he's going to, from this angle, even with heat loaded, he's going to have a hard time finding any kind of a shot. Oh, there's a shot, though. IS-4 gives us <laughs> the flat plate at the front and just able to put a heat shell into him. Um, and then he does it again, so, like, why not repeat, right? Uh, well, this is a little bit awkward. we still got all three guys in the platoon, but one of us is down ultra low. That is Mar... Mara... Mares? Uh? Mirza? Maybe? I don't know. One of us is ultra low. <laughs> Ooh, that's a 
<laughs> E3 that just ricocheted off. I had to have hit the, uh, I don't know, didn't, I was thinking it hit closer. Was it, first off, I was thinking we had a gun mantle on, well, of course we don't, but of course, but so that means the E3 was just below us and firing up us, us and that just ricocheted off the top of the turret. And that did not. Oh, and you can see the difference. Hit the cheek of the turret, went in, hits the top of the turret, and ricochets up and over the tank. And that's just the way it goes with this thing. If you can sucker them into shooting, like, you're basically their forehead or the turret, shots will just ricochet over your head and be, and you'll be perfectly fine. If they aim for your cheeks, that's just you done for. Uh, side of an E4 turret will take that all day, every day, right? Um, E4, though, wisened up and, ooh, did not hide his little weak spot on the top. And then, apparently, at the same time, they decided to make a rush. And the 60 P TP goes down, but um, the IS-4 never entered the, the corridor. So he doesn't actually take any damage from this push. Well, he didn't up until... Oh, nice shot, finding... That I must have been a Kapoa shot. I don't see how it would have hit penned anywhere else, but it was well done. But, uh, ooh, and then the lower plate on the WZ. Unfortunately, as again, no focus firing, so they're not taking down a single target. They're spreading damage over a few targets, and that's going to make it a little bit harder to finish these guys off. W111 is charging now. I don't know why. What I don't know what he he assumed was going to happen, but whatever he has thought was going to happen was not what happened. I'm sure. I'm sure he didn't charge across that open field, assuming he was going to die. But you know, maybe he did. I don't know. <laughs> maybe he's just that much of a moron. Oh, but um. Ah, <laughs> uh, he probably didn't see that coming. Tracking. Uh, the um, IS-4. I was thinking he was going to try and push over the rise with the IS-4 being tracked. Um, he's definitely not going to... Is he firing HE? He seems to be trying to kill it with HE. I mean, it will work because he's only got 300 health left and we're doing an average of 160-ish per shell. you got to actually hit the hull of the tank and not just the tracks, though. Um, otherwise, this ain't gonna work. Oh, IS or E4 gets the drop on our Progetto, and that goes just goes down. I didn't even notice the 140 went down at some point. No, oh, that's bad. That leaves only us in the situation of being over here. There is an E4 that no, is gonna know every time we're not looking up that hill, and he's just gonna start pushing over at some point. Uh, now we do have backup in the way of that 4005. You can definitely see over here, so if the 4005 suddenly sees an E4, um, it's possible, assuming he's paying attention, obviously, that he can put a shot into him. Ooh, nice job. E4 wasn't paying that much attention. We managed to get a shot through Saiba's turret. Ooh, unfortunately not able to follow that up with a Kapoa shot. But now he's down in the range where the 4005 can just hit him and kill him, and so he's going to have to be a little bit more careful. And even better, that snapshot into the Capoa leaves the E4 really, really low enough. He definitely can't take a shot from the, uh, the 4005 now. And then we find the IS4 just leaving his drive wheel track out. When, when not? I mean, it's you know, just not thinking about somebody shooting through the drive wheel and taking him out of the game. And that's exactly what we did. Found, found the E3. Ooh, gonna be able to farm a little bit of damage on this guy, seeing as he's backing away from something else and not really thinking about over here. Ooh, that's another... I was thinking that was another drive wheel shot, but it... I don't know where that kind of connected. That didn't... didn't damage the tracks at all. Maybe it flew high and went into the side? I don't know. E3 is barely surviving. So now it's not a bad time to think about pressing over this hill. And taking out this E4. Um, E3 is actually showing us his side right now. I don't know why. What, what, what does he think was going to happen? 
He just pops up on that ridge and shows us his hide. We've been farming damage off him for the last, like, minute. <laughs> what was he thinking? I don't know, but it wasn't... It didn't involve, hey, if I sit here, I'm gonna die. I mean, obviously, right? E4... Ooh, paying attention, but unfortunately, ricocheted one off the top of us. And Brez knows he's gotta go in. I mean, E4's got that long reload, but big gun. And then he... The Yag E100 misses the shot as well, and so he's just going to take this opportunity to dash around behind it. He does stop to aim and fire and pen a shot with um, heat and then get into cover. It's not even going to cost him anything. The Yagzilla isn't looking in this direction, uh, though there is a solid wall <laughs> between us and him, though. So we're either going to have to take that wall out with something. I wouldn't sit with your aunt. Your butt out in the breeze, dude. That's a bad plan. Use these bushes. There we go. Firing some a normal bit of APCR. You see the wall fall over after he takes it down. And switches back over to the heat. And pens the side of the Axilla. So only gotta get one more shell into it in order to kill it. And with the abundance of allies, he shoots an ally in the back. Of course he did, because that's exactly what was going to happen. I mean, obviously he wasn't intending to shoot the ally in the back, and there's... Um, I don't know if we went blue or not. You'll, you'll have to ask Perez if he went blue uh, for this mission, but... Uh, man, I mean, it's just... It's one of those things that happens. Uh, we're being pinged now, so apparently somebody is unhappy that we're out here, but... Without... <laughs> I mean, he did 7,000 damage from out here that we know of. And a bunch of spotting. If he hadn't been, this game would have been a disaster. So it was a great game. Thank you so much for staying in it. Let's see what you actually did. It was a bit of a slow start, but it wrapped up pretty nicely in the end. Ace tanker, spotter, bruiser, shellproof, fighter, fire for effect, and 21 bombs. Wow. That's actually quite nice and kind of impressive. Put six shells <laughs> into the IS-4 for 1,800 damage. I mean, when somebody just lets you farm you, farm them that way, it's A, very nice of them, and B, it, I mean, your damage just goes up excessively. Um, did not get any of the... Oh, you know what? Why? Uh, we shot an ally, so we didn't get the high caliber award. And didn't get enough kills for Top Gun. Did uh, actually got enough for Confederate. Is that also a something you don't get if you do team damage? It's weird. Um, I do wish that um, the team damage system got a little bit of an overhaul. And if it was like near the end of the game or you had a ton of experience on you already, a little bit of team damage, something under like 500 damage shouldn't count against you. Um, or one shot's worth of team damage shouldn't count against you kind of thing. Because... I mean, assuming you don't kill the ally. Um, I mean, so many times when, when it's the end of the game and everybody's, you know, dogpiling onto somebody, it's hard to maintain that discipline and not shoot an ally um, because you didn't know he was there until after you'd pulled the trigger kind of thing. And I've done that so many times. But unfortunately, losses of, of some medals because of an unfortunate mistake that, I mean... I'm sure I've made that many, many times. But overall, great game. Well done with the, the blocking <laughs> shells. Uh, so many big shells just bounced off the top of this tank and went on a journey somewhere else. Um, and a little bit of assistance damage as well. It was a great game. Thank you so much for saying it in. And uh, I can't wait to see your next one. And... Uh, Thank you all for watching. Have a great night. Don't forget to check out the Twitch stream for 7 Days to Die. And other than that, I'll see you when I see you. Have a great night. This is IOE throughout.